I'm going to show you how to calculate the system efficiency of a three-phase motor with a pump. As you can see, we have an, a motor that is 85% efficient and a pump that is 55% efficient. The electric input going into the motor combined with the efficiency, you get the brake horsepower, the output of the motor, which goes into the pump. Multiply it by the efficiency, you have the water horsepower or the output of the pump. To find the water, water horsepower or the output of the pump, you have to use the working equation. WHP equals delta P, which is the change in pressure, times the volume flow rate, 120 gallons per minute, over 3,940. 3, if we calculate the equation out, delta P multiplied by the volume flow rate over 3,940, the total output of the pump, water horsepower, is equal to 1.22 horsepower. Now that you have the output of the pump, you can find the output of the motor using, or BHP, brake horsepower, using another equation of efficiency equals output over input. Given efficiency is 55%, so let's set up the equation. The equation is simply the efficiency equals output over input, which is always a rule of thumb. That is 0.55, the efficiency, 55%, is equal to the water horsepower over the brake horsepower. So when you set it up algebra algebraically, it is brake horsepower is water horsepower over 0.55. So after you do the math, 1.22 horsepower divided by the efficiency 0.55 gives you 2.22 horsepower, which is the output of the motor going into the pump. And that makes sense. You want the uh, output of the motor going into the pump to be higher than the output of the fan because of that efficiency loss. And now that we have both horsepowers, both output of the motor and the pump, we can now find the electric input to the motor. So recall from the beginning that the efficiency of the motor was equal to 85%. So again, setting up the efficiency equation, the efficiency of the motor is equal to the output over input, or the brake horsepower over the electric input. So the electric input would be equal to the brake horsepower, 2.22 HP, over the efficiency, 0.85. That, in turn, gives us 2.61 horsepower as the electrical input. Now, of course, we have to convert this into kilowatts. Now, you just have to set up a conversion, a conversion equation. You have 2.61 horsepower, and for every horsepower, it is equal to 746 watts. Convert the watts into kilowatts by dividing by 1,000, and you get 1.95 kilowatts as the input power to the motor. Okay, now that we have calculated the motor input and the pump output, we can calculate the overall efficiency of the system. Remember, to do any kind of efficiency, units have to cancel out, so we can't use the previous found electrical input. We will have to use the uh, horsepower. Always remember that one equation, it will never change. Efficiency is always equal to output over input. So that means the efficiency of the system overall is the input to the motor over that water horsepower that we found at the beginning, which is the output of the pump. Sorry about that. It's actually water horsepower over the input. Mix myself up again there. Okay, so now that we have our system output and our system input, in both in horsepower, we can simply calculate the percentage of the efficiency of the total system. 1.22 over 2.61. Multiply that by 100 to get it to a percentage decimal, and it comes out to an efficiency of 46.74%. And just to recap, always remember that the efficiency of a system is always the output divided by the input. So if you wanted to find the input to a pump, you take the efficiency and the water horsepower, which is the output, or if you wanted to find the input to the motor, you would take the efficiency and the output of the motor and do it algebraically to find the answer.